Hey everybody, Daniel again. Long time no see. Like I said, trying to just get these review videos out just to talk about a couple interesting uh, pieces of gear I've been picking up. So, um, as you can see, this is one of the newer Gibson SG uh, Juniors. This is, I think, I'm sure this one's like a 2019 or, a, yeah, I think it's a 2019 or a 2020 model. Um, the sad thing is, so I was kind of even hesitant to kind of talk about this because this model, it seems to be largely discontinued. Like Gibson has it listed on their website, but I really haven't seen any shops um, list them. Like I think Gibson is just out of their catalog. It probably wasn't as uh, wasn't a big seller so anyway um, I've been wanting one of these for a long long time a Gibson SG Jr. Um, I had an Epiphone one that was in TV yellow that was satin had the humbucker in it um, you know I had a Gibson Burst Bucker 2 put into it and I played it and I liked it and then I just kind of sold it to you know make money uh, move stuff out that I wasn't playing and I've kind of regretted selling that one since. Um, now, you know, Gibson's made these off and on, um, and I just never was able to pick one up. So, fast forward to a couple years ago, um, a guy listed this guitar, this exact guitar, on Facebook Marketplace. Minus the stickers, I add the stickers myself. It's kind of something I do. I do the same thing, I put them on the back as well. So, um, uh, anyway, so it was, funny thing is, it was this exact guitar. And he and I kept going back and forth for a year. Um, I really wanted to buy it. I just didn't have the money. Um, he kept lowering the price and he finally got to, down to, to around maybe a thousand, nine hundred bucks to a thousand bucks. If I'd had the nine hundred bucks, a thousand bucks, believe me, I would have bought it from him. Um, but unfortunately he didn't have it and he sold it. Okay, I kind of asked him, followed up with him. I was like, oh, darn. Oh, well. Um, come as of a couple months ago, um, I saw it again. And I kind of reached out to the guy. Or no, I think the guy reached out to me because I had a guitar. That's what it was. I had, I, list, I had listed my dad's... Um, um, a Jeton Gypsy Jazz guitar. Um, kind of like Django Reinhardt. It was kind of one of the ones that had a smaller sound hole. We bought it from my mom. Uh, we bought my mom bought it for my dad. Um, from my guitar teacher years ago. Because they both liked um, Django Reinhardt. And we also got him like a month's worth of lessons. So he can kind of learn some stuff. Um, fast forward to... Um, you know, he has Parkinson's, he can't play. I asked him, he said he was fine with me selling it, moving it along. Um, so that's what we did, or that's what I was going to do. The guy hit me up, we kind of toggled back and forth, discussed some things, discussed a possible trade for this, um, had some stuff back and forth. Um, and long story short, able to do it, made it happen, got this guitar, he was happy with the with the gy Gypsy Jazz Jeton, Jeton. I'm happy with this Gibson. So upon getting it, and I knew it was it. This was the guitar because the case he had was a non-generic case. It looks like it was a generic fire uh, case made for an Explorer Firebird V, like one of those just really big ones that just looks very nondescript that you could put almost anything in it. Um, and it was this, I could tell it was the same case that the previous seller had. Um, after I got it, I even emailed that. I even messaged that seller. I said, hey, look, looks like I got your guitar anyway. Um, so anyway, um, this guitar, what I liked about it, very simple. One P90, volume, tone. Um, this guitar right now is set up with, I think it's got 11 to 49s, or no, 11 to 50s. Um, 11 to 50 gauge strings, Gibson Brightwires. Again, uh, the store that I go to to get my guitars set up and modified, Nicholson Music, had two 
uh, two little uh, boxes of them, Gibson Brightwires, 11 to 50s. So when I brought this guitar in, I brought that box of strings said, just put them up, put them on, set it up for slide, it's ready to go. This guitar is in standard tuning, it's set for slide. Let's see, here we go. If I can find where I put my slide. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. So, um, you know, one thing I like, again, just I wanted, I've always loved the SG shape. I never really liked the Les Paul Jr. shape. Um, I didn't like that single cutaway with this, with the 1P90. Something about the SG with the 1P90, one volume, one tone, that seemed to work. So I'm playing through my Vox AC4 TV mini amp. And um, for Overdrive, I have my Harby Centauri Plus, or my Har Harby Centauri Modified that I just bought from my other local store, Eldorado Hills Music. Um, I just bought this and the Noble Tone pedal yesterday. I'll do a separate review video on those. So... Um, Let's just do clean first, kind of what this sounds like. I literally tuned it, so... So, just your standard P ninety sound. Oh yeah, this slide is a one-off slide uh, that was made by um, by Sil uh, Sil uh, Silica Sound. They're the slides I used. Now this one is one of the non-tapered ones, but the ones I tend to use are the tapered ones. That's why I how I came to find them. So just a shout out to Silica Sound. Now, let's try the Harby Centauri Modified. Turn it down a little bit. Not claiming to be a Derek Trucks or Dwayne Allman here, just something. Um, so I got this, traded it for myself, um, so I can have something that when I want to learn slide, um, I have something to do it with. And this was the perfect guitar. Like I said, sadly for now, it seems like Gibson, for just the original collections line, looks like they aren't making these anymore. But if you find one in a pawn shop, on Facebook Marketplace, your local guitar store, somebody has one or used one or just has one that never sold, um, I'd say get it. I think these are kind of sleeper guitars. Again, because most people want the double humbuckers. Maybe they want the vibrola. You know, they want the stop bar. They just want to, you know, they want that ACDC look, the 
you know. And these, like I said, these guitars are sleepers. They're just like, people see the one volume, one tone, the rap tail bridge and the P90, they're like, oh, pfft, who cares? You know, that's not what I'm looking for. You know, that's not going to get me the ACDC tones. Um, and, um, you know, I, I, I kind of think they're, I don't really think they're paying attention. So, uh, moral of the story, if you see one, I would go get it. If you're someone like me who wants, again, kind of like the Cordoba stage guitar, you want something to practice, to learn slide on, you want something that's good quality, um, plays well, has the same kind of like SG type neck that we're all used to, go for it. Get one. Um... And that's just kind of it. Just kind of want uh, um, to... Who is that, Mia? Um, my dog's... My dog's whining. <laughs> anyway, so I'll wrap that up there. Just say, yeah, if you find one, um, get it. You won't be sorry. It's a great slide guitar. This is... I think this is going to be my designated slide guitar. So... With uh, Malia's whining, I think I'll... I'll call it... I'll, um, I'll call it a day here. Thank you.